Hey guys and gals, what's up? This is Gimli1357 here, and I'm going to be showing you how to get the five secret achievements in Outlast 2 that are not mission related. Starting off, we're going to be going to the mission Lamentations Raining Blood. It's the one place that I found that you can get this achievement. This achievement is called Slip and Slide, which is to perform a 12 meter blood slide. So as soon as you get to the area where the sprinklers start raining blood, you really cannot miss this part. You will sprint your way down this hallway and then hold down the crouch button to slide all the way down. Boom, 12 meters at least. And you will get your achievement for 15 gamer score. It's also a rare achievement, so congratulations. Now these other four are more of less grinding achievements. You may actually grab them throughout the game. And they are to crawl for 500 meters, spend 10 minutes underwater, use your microphone for 20 minutes, and to use 10 bandages. Now I'm going back to Lamentations of the Lake on normal again. All these achievements can be grabbed on normal. And this is the easiest way to grind for those first three that I mentioned. Crawling, water, and microphone. Uh, because all three of those things can be done right here, very easily. Now, these achievements do have to be grabbed on a single save. It does not carry over across your saves, so if you think, well, I've already crawled probably 400 meters, I only have to crawl another 100, right? No, when you start a new save, you have to do the full 500 and the full minutes for the other two as well, and the full for the 10 bandages, which we will not be grabbing right here, but I will show you how to gr quickly grab 10. But to grind for this is pretty simple. Turn on your microphone and start crawling up and down this beach. Over and over and over again, and you will eventually get the achievement. The first one that should pop will be the uh, proper penance, which is to crawl for 500 meters. I believe it took about 12 minutes of me crawling for me to get that achievement. Again, another rare achievement for 15 gamer score. Good job. Again, in that under 2% club. Now, the next thing you can do is, again, turn on your microphone and head into the water. Don't go too deep into the water. Don't spend too much time underwater at one moment. Uh, you'll want to crouch underwater. If you spend more than about 15 seconds, I have found that you will die by a creature. So, around the 15 second mark, hold either the left or right trigger to pop your head out of the water and breathe. Also, when you do that, go ahead and pull out your camera and microphone again, just so you can grab those extra few seconds. And then rinse, repeat. See what I did there? Now, again, this one, the first one to pop for me was thoroughly baptized, which will pop up right here, which was a another rare achievement for 15 gamer score under 1% club this time. And that is it for those two. Next, I still have the one for the microphone that I need to get. So I simply kind of wandered around this area with the microphone on my camera. Just keep it open. It doesn't drain your battery at all, which is interesting. Only the night vision in this one drains your battery. So I eventually just kind of camped by the campfire because it was pretty and I like listening to the crackling sounds. It was soothing, but you'll get this achievement as well. 15 gamer score and this one is not a rare achievement. Sorry, but still another secret achievement. Now for the last one, the 10 bandages. Uh, I'm going to go to Genesis and then starting off a new game at the crash just so we can skip all that boring beginning stuff. And, I mean, you can find any 10 bandages and use them as long as they're all in one save. But I'm going to show you the first 10 bandages that you can come across in the game. And you can grab this in about 15 minutes, really, if you sprint through this as quickly as I did. Uh, so first off, you'll grab that one near the helicopter, stand in the fire till you bleed, and then use a bandage. Because the easiest way to solve burns is to put a bandage on your cut on your arm. What? Okay, stand in the fire again, because you already have a bandage. So go ahead and... Use both of those up because you'll need the three slots in your pocket to be able to grab more. So you want that to be empty and then continue along the game till you find that guy who runs away, then knock on this door, then open this door, and then find a bandage on your left. Then a little bit later on, you're going to be running along here and you'll find Marta and Marta will start like freaking out and then right where she was is this little window that you can grab it's right before you go into the barn go ahead and grab that bandage then head out the window and back to the barn continuing along once you go through the little door where it tells you about your microphone which we already have too much experience with that now you'll get sliced by that guy you actually want to get sliced by him so that you can use the bandage but wait till you see the bright flash so you don't die you know go ahead and heal yourself up that's bandage number three Going through the little bit of the jail cellar thing, you'll find a bandage right there. Go ahead and grab that. We now have two more, which is a total of five. We just haven't used them yet. 
Now, when you meet Ethan, you'll crawl into his basement. And hey, look, that's another bandage. That's bandage number six. And then continuing along, you'll eventually find this place where you can burn yourself. Burn yourself and again, dress that burn by putting bandage over your cut on your arm. I don't know. We're going to use up all of our bandages right here, though. Because it's good to keep just one bandage on you at all times, just in case you accidentally get hit and you actually need to heal yourself. Which, there is another one in the building right behind us, which is why we can use all three of these right now. We're going to head up here to this building just across the street, find the bandage hanging out in this little box. Go ahead and grab that. That's bandage number seven. And then once you get to the part where you hear the lady on the hill, blah, 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 go for this first building, go downstairs, and then there's the thing. This is when you're trying to turn on the generator. First building on your right, there's a bandage in the basement. Coming back up out of that building, this lady's kind of standing here, and I want her to stab me so I can use one of my bandages. And, oh, she just kind of does it like out of nowhere, and I freak out because I think I'm about to die. So I kind of walk a little further back, and there's another guy who just kind of came out of nowhere. Go ahead and use bandage number seven. And then we're going to continue along, do the generator thing, come back down. We have our one bandage still on us, which is really good. Because like I said, you might actually need it because I got stuck on a rock. And Marta hit me. And I, 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 I could have died. Be careful with rocks and stuff like that. So, Heading up the elevator, I decided to go ahead and use bandage number eight since that's the only one I have left. Now we just need two more bandages. These ones are pretty simple to find. One is right after you get told that you're going to be bled in the yard. Run through the first building, and then you'll find that bandage just sitting on the sink right before you crawl underneath. Then you'll go to the part where you go down the stairs and are about to push away a bookshelf, and you'll find our tenth bandage. Now we just need to use them. So one of the guys smacks me in the butt, which allows me to use bandage number nine. However... We still have to get hurt to be able to use bandage number 10. So the only place I could find it after that was when this lady's in the middle after you see Marta and climb on top of the cart and all that stuff. And that's our 10th bandage. And it doesn't pop up right away, so I kind of like try to get hit again and maybe think... Oh, there it is. All right, there's our next achievement. Again, not a rare achievement, but it is a secret achievement, and it is 15 gamer score. That is all the secret achievements that are not mission-related in this game. So I hope you enjoyed this little guide of me showing them to you. And tune into Gamer's Guide and the Gamer's Guide channel on Xbox Club for more achievement tips, shorts, and guides. See y'all later, folks.